food and land food. Now it was time for something from the ocean and something from the hills. The lunch hour Toto Chan had looked forward to so eagerly. The headmaster had adopted the phrase to describe a balanced meal. The kind of food he expected you to bring for lunch in addition to your rice instead of the usual train your children to eat everything and please see that bring a nutritiously balanced lunch this has headmaster asked parents to include in their children's lunch boxes something from the ocean and something from the hills something from the oceans meant seafood things such as fish and tuskoda tiny crusted crusticles and the like bottled boiled in soya sauce and sweet sake while something from the hills meant food from the land like vegetables beef pork and chicken mother was very impressed by this and thought that few headmasters were capable of expressing such an important role so simply oddly enough just having to choose from two categories made preparing lunch seem simpler and besides the headmaster pointed out that one did not have to think too hard or to be extravagant to fulfill the two requirements the land food could be just kinpriya pira gobo that is a spice bird up or an omelet and the seafood merely flakes of dried bonito or simpler still you could have nori a kind of seaweed from ocean and a pickled plum from hills just as the day before when toto chan had watched and enviously watched so enviously the headmaster came and looked in all the lunch boxes have you something from the ocean and something from the hills he asked checking each one It was so exciting to discover that each had brought from the ocean and from the hills. Sometimes a mother had been too busy and her child had only something from the hills or only something from the ocean. But never mind. As the headmaster made his round of inspection, his wife followed him, wearing a cook's white apron and holding a pan in each hand. If the headmaster stopped in front of a pupil saying Ocean she would dole out a couple of boiled chikua fish rolls from the ocean salt saucepan and if the headmaster said hills out would some out would come some chunks of soy simmered potatoes from the hills saucepan no one would have dreamed of saying i don't like fish rolls any more than thinking what a fine lunch so and so has or what a miserable lunch poor so and so always brings the children's only concern was whether they had satisfied the two requirements the oceans and the hills <coughs> and if so their joy was completed and they were all in good spirits beginning to understand what something from the ocean and something from the hills was all about Toto Chan had doubts whether the lunch her mother had so hastily prepared that morning would be approved. But when she opened her lunch box, she found such a marvelous lunch inside. It was all she could do to stop herself shouting, "Oh, goody, goody!" Toto Chan's lunch contained bright yellow scrambled eggs, green peas, brown denbu, and pink flaked cod roe. It was as colorful as a flower garden. How very pretty," said the headmaster. Toto Chan was thrill- thrilled. "Mother is a very good cook," she said. "She is, is she?" said the headmaster. Then he pointed to the dead bull. "All right, what's this? It is from the ocean or the hills?" Toto Chan looked at it, wondering which was right. It was the color of earth, so maybe it was from the hills. but she couldn't be sure i don't know she said the headmaster then addressed the whole school where does denbu come from the ocean or the hills 
After a pause, while they thought about it, some shouted, Hills! And others shouted, Ocean! But no one seemed to know for certain. All right, I'll tell you, said the headmaster. Denbu is from Ocean. Why? asked a fat fellow, fat boy. Standing in the middle of the circle of desks, the headmaster explained, Denbu is made by scraping the flesh of cooked fish off the bones, tightly roasting and crushing it into, th- into fin- fine pieces, which are then dried and flavored. Oh, said the children, impressed. Then someone asked if they could see Toto-chan's Denbu. Certainly, said the headmaster. And the whole school tripped over to look at Toto-chan's Denbu. There must have been children who knew about what Denbu was, but whose interest had been aroused, as well as those who wanted to see if Toto-chan's Denbu was any different from the kind they had at home. So many children sniffed at Toto-chan's Denbu, and she was afraid the bits might get blown away. Toto-chan was a little nervous that first day at lunch. But it was fun. It was fascinating, wondering what was seafood and what was land food. And she learned that Denbu was made of fish, and mother had remembered to include something from the ocean and something from the hills. So all in all, everything had been all right, she thought, contentedly. And the next thing that made Toto-chan happy was that when she started to eat the lunch mother had made, it was delicious.